once you understand how to brew beer, how do you ensure that you're in control? You're able to hit the alcohol levels you want, you're able to get the yields that you want, you're, that things are consistent and things are on target. What's the downside of it? You don't really know what's going on. That leads to poor quality, that leads to consumers that may be rejecting your product, maybe not coming back to your brand. The beer quality program that we run at Oregon State University it provides a, a large tool that brewers can use to ensure the success of their business. One of the unique things about this program is that it provides uh, insight into uh, analytical techniques that brewers use to ensure that the beer and all the processes along the way are in spec and, and produce a product that is consistent and of high quality. You'll find other courses around the nation, around the world that teach students about the overarching beer process from raw materials to finished packaged goods and quality be a part of that. But this course is specifically tailored to quality, specifically tailored to the lab aspects of that from a chemistry, biochemistry, microbiological and sensory perspective. And that is really a unique feature of this course. The PACE course on beer quality is designed really for two audiences. One, those people that want to break into the industry and need to understand more about beer quality. And those that are working in the industry and see themselves either moving to or having been moved into a realm where they need to be very in touch with quality systems, quality measurements, control and quality. And part of what we're training the students is to be able to know what systems to monitor throughout the brewing process and be able to track that and understand when the system is in control and out of control. If it's in control, that leads to consistency. And then on the back end, how do you evaluate beer from a sensory perspective? How do you understand that there aren't defects? How do you test whether there are defects? How do you test whether the beer is, is true to spec or not true to spec? Here is a really safe space to learn and play and ask questions without uh, being any sort of judgment that it's like a, you know, an open book that they can page through and, and talk to experts. What we hope that the participants come away with is an understanding of the suite of tools they have in front of them. And these are techniques that the brewing industry has told us these are the important ones that people working in quality need to, to, to know.